Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 5, 6. I'm back in NorCal, I'm back in San Francisco. I'm at Emmons' mom's house, which is cool. The only con is that we have to wear masks for a couple days because obviously we drove, you know, down the state. We went down to SoCal for my husband Emmons to produce a song with somebody and that producer got tested and we got tested and we were both negative and it was all good. But you know, Corona's really bad right now. Like it's getting worse every single day and it's better to just be safe. So we're gonna wear a mask for a couple days in the house and then get a test because there's like an incubation period where basically if you get coronavirus and then you get tested like the day after you might have been exposed it might not show up on your testing just because it takes a couple days to like set in I guess and show up on the test so we're gonna get tested in a couple days I'm sure that will come back negative I, I don't know why it wouldn't but. but yeah if you see me wearing a mask in the house that's why but yeah it's like 10 11 in the morning I got a full night's sleep last night and I'm so happy about it I was getting so little sleep I was getting like five six hours of sleep over the course of the LA trip and staying up so late which is just like not normal for me so last night I went to bed at like 11 and I woke up at 9 and it was so nice I'm hoping to try and get to bed a little bit earlier every day and once I get kind of vlogmas down and I get my editing schedule down then it won't be so late but I guess we'll see <laughs> Today, I get to open my merch because it came in the mail and Emin said I'm not allowed to open them until we're vlogging because he wants you guys to see it too, which is cute. I'm probably gonna wrap some Christmas presents today because we got a lot of them in the mail. I got most of Emin's gifts in the mail. I really wanna show you guys, but he watches all of these videos. So I'll probably hang out with you guys while I wrap the presents, but I'm not gonna show you the presents just because I don't want him to see, you know? Okay, I wanna make a matcha latte now, but I don't know if I have oat milk. So let's go inside and see if I have it and get my freaking day going. Hey bud! just put Olaplex in my hair, which is like a fixer for damaged hair because my hair is super damaged since I bleached it. This is the second time I've used Olaplex. It's supposed to like save your hair, so I'm doing it. But I'm gonna take a bath now, I decided, because basically we're gonna wear masks in the house, like I said, but also it's better to just like not be around people if you're trying to like quarantine or whatever before being tested. So I'm gonna go sit in the bath for a really long time instead of like sitting in the room or sitting somewhere else. I feel like it'd be better to like lock myself in a small space and like spray it with Lysol after. Just in case, guys, again, it's very unlikely that we have coronavirus. It's just a precaution. So. So yeah, I'm going to go sit in the bath. I love sitting in the bath. I used to hate it, but now I can like, you know, watch TV, do my hair stuff, have a good time, self care and all that. So I'm gonna do that. And then I get to open my merch and I'm really excited about it guys. I've been looking forward to seeing these merch pieces in person and like actually getting to wear them for so long. So I'm really excited about that, but we will get to that in a minute. Ho, 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 ho. Can we please open my merch? I've been dying to see it and you are so busy. So can we see my merch now, please? Yeah, go get it. My hair? literally looks like you took air and just injected it into my hair. It looks like this. It's really exciting, guys. I'm seeing my merch for the first time ever. ever. I obviously designed it, but I didn't get to see it in person before it got printed for the world to see. So now I get to see it. So, to be quite honest with you guys, this cost a lot of money. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this. Maybe I should explain it to you. When people make merch, they have to buy the merch. Like you have to buy the hoodies or the t-shirts or whatever in usually very large quantities. In this case, I only bought a few. Some people buy thousands of pieces at a time and then they ship them out. And the less stuff you buy, the more it costs. So like if you buy 100 t-shirts, for example, it'll cost $10 a t-shirt. If you buy 20 t-shirts, it'll cost like $15 a t-shirt. It goes up the less you buy. And again, you guys know, I bought these in very limited quantities because I wasn't sure how many you buy. So this was quite an investment for me. It was like a couple grand. It was a lot of money. If you buy ethical pieces, like for me, <coughs> I spit in my throat. I don't make the sweatshirt. Like it's not me personally doing it. You go through another company to make the sweatshirt and then you print your design on it. So for me personally, it was important to me that I didn't use any companies that use sweatshops or anything like that. I wanted it to be a company who was being as ethical and environmentally friendly as possible. So these cost even more than usual merch pieces would cost. So. There's some background for you guys. All right, are we gonna open it now? Yeah. I'm so excited. Guys, I literally have never seen this in person. That is some strong tape right there. Ow, that hurt my hand. <gasps> Look. <gasps> oh my God. This is really weird. 
Oh my god! Is it nice? Oh my god! Wait, hold oh on. Oh my gosh, the yellow is so vibrant. Look how bright it is. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Wait, is this the biggest one? I want to look at the small one. Is that one. mine? Yeah, I think so. Oh, the fattest one, you mean? Oh, the tags are so cute. Look, the tags are blue. <gasps> it's so cute! Oh my god! Look at it, Emin. Let me see. If you guys didn't know, I literally have the same crew neck version of this from a different company that made their own merch and that's why I picked this because I loved my crew neck so much but oh my god and you can read the blue really well too mm -hmm. it's really cute I want to put it on now yeah oh, you can just feel the quality you know oh my god how does it look dude it looks so good does it look great it looks really does really it look good great? Wait, wait I love the color too does it? Does it look good on me? I can't look at my hair. Right. I look like Albert Einstein. Yo, I'd wear this hoodie. I'm saying it's not like a sloppy hoodie. Like, right, you know, like when you get cheap, those $6 Gildan hoodies yeah. from people. I've even made them in the past. They're just like big and puffy. Yeah, I know what you this mean. This looks like a nice yeah. shirt. So, to anybody who buys it, first, we didn't make a lot. FYI. Also, Dixie Dumilo's song just came out. It's pretty fire. Does my promo help her? Yeah, yeah probably. Definitely. Definitely. She needs this. <laughs> Dixie, you're welcome. Hi, Ellis. Look at Danny's new clothes. She made these. What do you think? Not a fan. We're going to do a photo shoot right now. I'm kind of nervous. I've never done my own merch. I've never had a photo shoot for myself. Not that I'm doing like a professional photo shoot. It's just us, but still, it's exciting. We just finished our merch shoot. Check it out. This is where we did it. Doesn't it look nice? Oh yeah, the merch shots came out good. We'll put them right here. So yeah, I'm really excited about this hoodie. I've never liked colored stuff. Like I've never liked a blue sweatshirt before. But I really, really like this. Mm -hmm. And I also wasn't gonna wear this underneath it, but I actually think it looks really cute. Guys, <laughs> we just got home from shooting and we see Norman is outside. So we see Norman walking outside. He's not supposed to be out there. And then I say, Norman, come here. This man literally jumped from the ground into the window. Look at this. He jumped through this w window, just like this, from down here. And we're not in a small car. We're in like an SUV. How did he do that? Norman, how did you do that? <laughs> yeah. what, what did you say about my sweatshirts and how amazing they are? They're really effing ugly. <laughs> it's so oh, mean. Danny. What? I'm seeing magic. Whoa, Ellis. I just learned how to only in a skateboard. Yeah, can I see it? Uh. Sure. First, I need to show you my dance. Ready? I'm ready. <laughs> it takes a few tries, though. Yeah, that's okay. Whoa! Ellis, you got off the ground. I try it in grass. Yeah. Let's retry that. Try to do it. Oh, you got off the ground. I saw it. We brought us dinner out here because, as you know, we're wearing masks in the house, so we can't exactly eat dinner with everybody. So we're having our chicken and my onions and rice and everything out here. Don't spill on your hoodie. You don't spill on your hoodie. You're the one who spills your food. I'm wrapping gifts. Finally doing a Christmas activity. I'm talking it a little bit quieter because it is 11 o'clock at night and everybody's sleeping, so I'm trying not to yell. This is one of Emmons gifts. This is another one of Emmons gifts. This is another one of Emmons. This is another one of Emmons gifts. I'm about to wrap right now. I'm pretty excited about it. It is very nice. I'm just gonna tell you guys right now, I feel like I should talk about Christmas stuff because I'm wrapping a gift. Okay, wait, and I should be playing Christmas music. Ready? There we go. Now we're in the spirit. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta measure out how much wrapping paper I'm getting and I can't talk while I do that, so just give me a minute. I'm gonna share some Christmas memories. I almost said Christmas joy. I'm gonna share some Christmas things and then I want you guys to share some Christmas things in the comments. And then we'll just have a little Christmas party because I don't know about you guys, I have been having a really hard time getting in the Christmas spirit. Honestly, I feel like it gets harder every single year, but I feel like the older I get, the older I get, the less I get excited about Christmas. It's just like, okay, this is kind of just like every other day, except Christmas happens and I have a different kind of day on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, but that's about it. You guys know what I mean? I don't know if it's like that for everybody or if I'm just like an accidental Grinch. Like it just kind of happens every year. I just don't really feel it. So maybe this will help me out a little bit. But I used to love Christmas as a kid. I used to ask for about 50 gifts from my mom. Most of them were dolls. I would not get 50 gifts because my mom had 11 kids, so if she got 50 gifts for each kid, 
Would that be 550 gifts? Can I do math? Wait, no. That would be 50. 50 times 11. 10 times 50 is 500. 1 times 10 is 10. So it's 510. Anyway, so another fun fact about me in Christmas time. I was big on Santa, first of all, as most kids are. And I was also big on not sleeping in my room. So I don't know why this was. I was also scared of the dark. I definitely peed my pants while sleeping until I was like eight years old. Like I wore trainers till I was eight years old. Because I was so scared of the dark. To the point where I wouldn't get up to pee because I was too scared to go walk to the bathroom and pee. So, you know. <laughs> I like to sleep on floors and I like to sleep in rooms that were not my room. So like for example, during Christmas time, I always wanted to sleep under the Christmas tree. Like I thought that would be so cool. And my mom wouldn't let me, you know, on Christmas, which is understandable. But at the time I was like, what the hell mom, you're ruining my dream of seeing Santa Claus. Like I want to see Santa, so I'm going to sleep under the tree. But she didn't let me. So that was hurtful. <laughs> It's done. I tried my best, okay? Let me show you. These ones are way better. This one's much cleaner. This one's looking good. This one's all right. And yeah, this one's pretty symmetrical. I did a good job otherwise, okay guys? Oh my God, I just realized. If you move it different ways, it reflects the light in rainbow. Does it make a rainbow? Anyway, if you're watching this video, my merch will already be out, which is really cool. This is like a really big moment for me in my, you know, life. I'm also about to hit 100,000 subscribers, which is crazy. So thank you guys so much. I seriously appreciate every single one of you subscribing to me. I don't think you guys understand. And I read so many of your comments and so many of your DMs and like, I don't know guys, I'm just really happy. I'm feeling really blessed, feeling really lucky, really happy, really proud of myself, of Emin. Emin does so much, like you guys don't even know how much work he puts into behind the scenes. He literally just went through almost every Vlogmas video that we have left and came up with a bunch of titles and ideas and what we can film. He's editing one of my videos right now. He made one of my thumbnails right before that. Like he seriously puts in so much work and he's working on his own music career. So just give a big, you know, pat on the back to Emin. I don't know if you guys know that he does stuff for me. I seriously would not have a channel without him. So shout out to Emin. I love you. <laughs> okay guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for getting my merch. It's out today. I don't know how much is selling, if it's sold out, if it sold one, I'm not sure. But thank you to anybody who bought my merch. I seriously appreciate every single one of you. Please subscribe. I have a goal of hitting 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And if I could reach that, it would be so amazing. I'm so close. So seriously, Please subscribe if you like my videos. It really does help me Emin out. and I put so much time into this channel and to see it grow and see you guys grow and see people subscribe, like every single person, it really does mean a lot to me, so thank you. And also follow me on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.